All right, and welcome everyone uh, to another episode of So How'd You Get Here? Uh, I'm Angelo. This is Tony. Hello, hello. And we are your co-hosts for today. And um, before we get into an uh, interview with our guest, I would like to introduce um, a tall, good-looking, chiseled dancer with an accent. And I believe he was on a TV show, maybe? Uh, for a second, I times? thought you were describing me. Oh, you, almost. So I literally thought you were describing me. Almost. Uh, I- I- your name is and close. Until you said dancer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Two left feet. <laughs> for everyone who's out there, I would like to introduce to you... Kio Motsepe. What up? Welcome to welcome, the show, welcome, sir. Welcome. Thank Can we get a dance, much. please? Thank you. Oh. No, I'm just wow. kidding. No, we're, yeah, we're kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. How are you doing? Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm doing great. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Can you do me a favor and actually move that mic a little closer to your face? Oh, baby. Because people, w- yeah, we want to hear yeah, you Yeah, we want to hear that. There we go. Perfect. Oh, oh that's great. Debut. <laughs> so we appreciate you coming on the show, first of all. Thank you. Because we, I mean... Listen, everyone knows you from Dance with the Stars. They know what you're doing now, but how was what was that journey? Like how did that start? Clearly you're from you're from South Africa. I think so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, from what I found out, I mean, Wikipedia could be wrong. You, there's so many lies yeah. out there. So <laughs> there's so many believe, lies out there. Don't believe anything that yeah, you see. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. But I'm from a, a town called Mabopane. Okay. Mabopane is a small town that is under Pretoria. So that's a little bit north, right? Yeah. So if you kind of look on the map, it's on, on the north of Pretoria. Kind of. It's so from Johannesburg, Pretoria is 45 minutes drive. Okay. From Ma, like Pretoria to Mabopane, where I'm from, where my parents raised me, obviously, is another 45 minutes. You know. So. That's where I'm from. I'm from a two-bedroom house with my two sisters, my mom and dad. <coughs> uh, dad worked in the car business. My dad actually worked in a company called Johnson Control. They do the interior of like BMW, Mercedes okay. Benz, and like kind of like German cars, yeah, pretty yeah. much, right? Um, and my mom was in ed- education, so I started dancing when I was five years old, and it started with watching michael jackson on tv oh. and they used to they used to also be a show on tv back in south africa called the summit the summit was a show that followed the top south african cup dance uh, ballroom dance couples around so it like followed them the whole week of how they train what they eat kind of their life journey yeah. before the co- big competitions right so <coughs> i used to watch that watch michael jackson how 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 old were you at this point five years old five years old yeah <sighs> five years old and i was a kid in like back home like my sister my o- middle sister the Seho, was very she was like the loud one in the family like she was loud like she was like oh my god beyonce like she's that kind of vibe <laughs> like she's like brother please <clears throat> buy me these shoes i want jimmy Choo. i want this i'm like let's see doesn't mean that i work in la and i live in la i'm gonna get you all of this that you, you know i still do i still do she's my sister <laughs> whatever right by the way when we, when we introduce <clears throat> you on the podcast we're gonna take that little clip <laughs> <laughs> that's funny you know so that's like that's her in the family and then you have my other sister pamela who is Weird, like my mom and dad gave my two, me and my sister, like Setswana names, like you know, tradition names, right? And they gave my f- the firstborn, like English names, Helen Pamela. What, anyway, wait, so wait, well, so Kio, what does that mean? So, Kio, it's short for Kiwi Kanze, uh-huh. Kiwi Kanze meaning like I, re- that, like people rely on me and I rely mm. on God, mm. like Kikanze when, like Kikanze when is like I rely on you, like you know, so that what. My name means. That's that a cool I, name. That's a cool yeah, name. I call Kio because it's hard for people to pronounce. You know, some people can... When someone calls me Kiwi Kanse, my heart is... Mikiwa Kanse? Uh, no, Kiwi Kanse. Kiwi when, Kanse. When someone calls my full name, oh, I get butterflies. All right. Like, I get butterflies. I'm like... Oh, okay, I'm going to go practice for a few yeah, hours. It's like so refreshing. Out. And I'm like, yo, finally. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? Because, um, yeah, so... What growing up, you know, and then my older sister, who the firstborn, she she's more like a mom. Like she's like, you know, you have siblings. Like right. you have the party one, you have the one who puts everyone in place, and you have the one who's like, Don't do this, you can't do this. You What's the be, age like, gap? Uh, 
Like, uh, like was she a like teenager my, when you were five, so she felt so more motherly? My older sister, she's in the 40s right now. Okay. And my other, the middle one, let's say, oh, she's in the, she's like 38. 38, 37 yeah, right now. Yeah. And I'm 31. Got it. So that's That's like not what your coffee cup says. <laughs> you can turn, go ahead, turn it around no. for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right. Yeah. So, I pay attention. <laughs> yeah. So we, you know, the, the, the dynamic in the family was like that, but then. I started dancing when I was five years old. My middle sister started dancing before me, right? Mm. And when she started dancing, and I, I joined dancing, and then she stopped. She's like, I can't be dancing if you're dancing because you're so good. Like, you, she's like, I can't be competing next to my brother. Like, he's so good. Like, I just have a natural dance vibe and instinct, you know, because I could pick, I could look at something on TV and pick it up. Right. And even the vibe, and like, even in, like in singing, I can listen to a tune mm -hmm. and actually like copy it. You know, <clears throat> so then I started dancing while I was in school, obviously. Um, didn't finish my school, went to university, did my marketing, but I was dancing. The hardest part, I When you say dancing, strictly ballroom? Strictly ballroom. Okay. Yeah, so I went to Rose's house, Ika, Nong, Pretoria North, College Dance Center. I went to five dance schools. Wow. All of them that I went to, the first one I went to, I went, I started dancing. <coughs> I left. Three days left. Uh, three days later, shut down. Next one. F a week later, when I left them, shut down. Everything that I went, it was so weird for me. And I was like, and I never thought about it back then. Obviously, now I'm like, why did, why did that happen? Like, mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. like, and I was the only kid out of all the kids in the studios that continued dancing. Hmm. Out of all this for I mean, this one, they produce like amazing dancers in this dance school. Is but that like because dance is just they weren't really into it, and it was just a hobby for them? They didn't have the same passion as you, or was something else going on? Like why? It's why hard. would it? Why would it be you leave and then they shut down? It, it, dancing is very ex very expensive. Oh. I'll say that oh, okay. very very expensive. Like the dance shoes, the dance pants, and it's not like you can just put on dance shoes and put jeans put a t-shirt on and go compete it's not that you have to right. wear like proper professional i mean ballroom dancing clothes right right <coughs> so those are costly you know what i mean so my mom had an extra job so my dad was not he was not like the fan of ballroom dancing mm -hmm. or dancing in general especially for me because he didn't think it was like masculine like yes okay you never thought it was masculine right i'm from africa like if i come and go Oh, I'm from Africa. Yeah, I'm a ballroom dancer. People like even in America when I came here, they're like people are like, "What do you do? Are you, which which oh which team which do you sport play do you? For yeah, yeah. Are you on the are you on the Rams? <coughs> yeah, yeah, like L L Lakers." And I was like, "What? <laughs> Lakers?" So can I ask uh, culturally? Obviously, yes. coming from a different place and even a little bit different time, mm -hmm. what are some acceptable quote unquote occupations for for, for, for someone like you with a dad like you had? Soccer. Okay. okay. Uh, Businessman, uh, working with, like, I feel like soccer or oh, rugby. Rugby, mm. <coughs> you know, like that. Those are like soccer. The, like so soccer is <laughs> like yeah. the number one sport in South Africa. You know, right. I mean? rugby is the number two, and then tennis and cricket. You know, all of that. But like soccer, my dad used to play soccer when I was young and growing up. So he, I'm the only son. So for him, it was like, uh, oh, I have a son. Who? He can so and I rely and on you, my boy. Dancer. And he just <laughs> went ballerina. <laughs> you know, so he was like, I can't win in this family, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I my dad was not a fan of me dancing. 100%. Did, so now there's a lot of people who come to LA with that, like, I want to be a comic, parents don't support, or I want right. to pursue, you know, arts, mm -hmm. not interested. Mm -hmm. It's too it's too risky, yeah, too small of a percentage of making it and being successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um how much pushback did you get? And f tell us a little bit about about that because I think that's actually really interesting to go. I have this thing I want to do and I'm good at it, but there's a few people that I even love and care about that are not a big fan of it. Yeah. So how do you balance and negotiate so that? Because <coughs> that's half of LA, of yeah, people who move 100%. here to go after what they want to go after. Yeah, so I remember like clearly back home when I was seven years old and – in my in th my parents' house in the kitchen, mom was cooking. I was washing the dishes, and I remember my mom go. And I, I remember coming from dancing, and then she loved me dancing. 
pissed off because like the discipline, the like how you treat other people, the mm-hmm. respect and like the just the how you handle yourself in situations and like it just dancing has that I want my kids to dance, obviously. But like it just has that like aura about it, you know? And uh I remember walking in the house and uh, and I started washing the dishes. I'm like my mom was like, before you even go to your room, dishes first and I was like, Okay, wash dishes and stuff like that and I remember, and I remember turning around my mom, I'm like, Mama, I'm gonna be a professional ballroom dancer and I'm gonna make it. And then she she literally turned around, looked at me, and I remember this. She looked at me, she was like, <laughs> Okay, pop, whatever you want. And then just like a normal mom will do. Right. Like a, mom, a normal mom will just turn around and be like, I support you, whatever you want to do, right? <clears throat> and then I remember not knowing how seriously yeah, you really meant. Yes. That. Not knowing, but obviously like that age. Yeah, I mean that's that, I was that, just gonna that, say at seven. Yeah, that age seven years old. Yeah. What do I know about being serious? Like, you right. know what I mean? I'm just saying this because it was just feeling that I had to say it right at that moment. Mm-hmm. And I said it. And then like that was always stuck with me. Even in moments where I'm like doubting myself and I go, No. Seven years old. You remember in the kitchen when you told mama you're gonna be a dancer? There we go. Let's right. go. Let's go push hard, my boy. You know what I mean? So I've had I ha- I've had like incidents in my life that were the one of the hardest moments in my life. Like, I if I can just think of one, I remember I was in my matric. My mat- matric in, in America, I don't know, I think you feel like college? Yeah. Oh, like yeah, like yeah. last year of college, yeah. right? And I had to represent South Africa at the uh, all, um, World Games, not Olympic sports, right? So it was, I was in the team South Africa, right? And I'm sorry, just because I don't know <coughs> the, the breaking, the structure of school, mm. how old are you? If this is called, like you're 19, uh, 20? Like, no, I'm like 17? 17? 17? 17, yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is like my last year in, in kind of college, right? Right. Before university. So I <laughs> I finish um, during my trick, like exams, like my final exams, right? I have to leave to the World Games. So now I have exams, last year in school, mm-hmm. the World Games, representing South Africa. Now, obviously, it's not just me, my family involved. It's like the government is involved. The dance spot is involved. So the school is involved. So how do we balance this? So the dance sport federation went to my school. Hey, can w- we make an option for Keo to write his exams when he comes back from this World Games? I remember, and I was like, okay, I know I'm not going to get A's. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> that you're not, that you're not gonna get A's. I'm not gonna get A's, <laughs> but you know, my score just a little one, maybe one <laughs> somewhere. I will, but you know, I'm gonna work my butt off. You know, and it was one of the like three months of my life, 17 years old, s- three months of my life that I will never forget because that made me so strong. Mm. I like I could be in anywhere in the world. I'll survive. I hundred percent because I th- what I the, trying to study in the like in in the airplane like studying while I have to go practice when we get there just the time difference also competing and getting and then land right away from landing straight to the school write my fr- my first exam the following day two days later write my th- like it was just like and I remember when I, when I finished. When I said happy new year, when I passed and I got my results, and I was like, "Yo, I did that." Yeah. And I remember moments where I was crying, like I was like, "This is hard. Like mm. this is not easy. Like this is hard." But there was something in me. I was like, "I said I want to be a professional dancer, and I want to make it, and I'm gonna make it." Where does yeah. that discipline come from? Is that from I dancing? Mean, no, I know, but oh, from your mother believing in you so much, from your older sisters. I mean. I mean, obviously, the the dad part I, we get. Yeah, I, th- I think my mom. Like, yeah. I think she was, she was a huge part of. She she's a huge part of my life, you know. And she's, like, yeah, she's she's that. She's my best friend. Like, you know, she's been through it all, you know. And she had this power. My mom had this power. <clears throat> she would say something to me that will resonate, like, so quickly, mm-hmm. and like if I'm going whatever, through anything, through friendships or whatever, and I'll call her, good or bad, I'll call her, I'm like, yo, mama, this happened, this is how I feel, blah, 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 and then she'll just say something and we'll say a prayer. Mm. And then the w- and then I'm like, oh my God, 
oh, that f- okay, great. Let, yeah. Let's you know what I mean. Like she was, she is that person, and I will always like carry that with me for the rest of my life. And I'll al- I'll pass that with my kids. You know, when I have kids, I'll pass it with my kids because no matter what your child does, my mom taught me this. Like no matter what your child does, support it in a very positive way. Encourage in and motivate them. And if they want to do it, my son, my daughter, go for it. Right. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Let them fail or succeed. Yes. But at least give them the, like the yes. Yeah. Because you know, I've 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 seen kids that I grew up with. You know, people that I grew up with and who their parents were not with what they want to do, right? And like, no, it's not gonna work. You can't do this. But like, luckily for me, my dad didn't want me to dance, but my mom did want to dance. Right. So I had one parent who mm-hmm. believed in what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? So that so it does change. <coughs> Obviously, your mom was at least for you or open to letting you go for it. Did did your dad ever sort of stand in the way or discourage you? Or was it just like, if you want to go do it, fine, but I'm not a big fan? Like, how, mu- how much resistance did you get going after it? Or once He didn't want to hear about it. Didn't want to hear about it. Got didn't want to hear about it. He won't pay for my dancing stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, school and everything else, like whatever. But, like, dancing, he didn't... Don't don't mention it even in front of him. Like don't talk about it in front of him. It was one of those things. Like I don't want to hear it. Like if I tell you how many soccer balls I had in my house, how many clits I had in my house, oh my god! <laughs> like brand new ones every Friday. It was trying to pursue me like to just like every. Fr- I'm not kidding. Every single Friday I had brand new shoes. Because he really wanted. He wanted me to be a soccer player. Now did that? <coughs> I got a question. Does does that did that help drive you at all? Because sometimes you actually all support isn't always good like sometimes oh you yeah. need a naysayer in your life oh yeah because then that because him not going you're not gonna dance like this dance is just for fun for two minutes right now you're gonna be a soccer player that made me like oh okay no, i'm yeah. gonna go after oh this i'm gonna show sure. you yeah. i'm gonna show you and then i remember when my first international competition when you know the newspapers of like keo and ot are represent south africa in germany blah 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 and on the newspaper he reads newspaper every day every morning when he saw me, I remember that day when he saw me, he was like, yeah, so this is it. So dance is real. So this is dancing yeah. is real. Yeah. And, you know, <clears throat> and I was like, yeah, is, it is. But that keeps, it, it kept on like make, like pushing me, you know. And I'm, I've always been that person like through my life with, with probably anything. It's just like I can let go quickly. I can let go. Like I'm, I'm okay with me myself. I'm okay with being alone. I'm, I'm, co- I'm cool. Like yeah, I yeah. just, you know, uh, I can let go. So even when I remember when going home, <coughs> now at an elderly age, you know, like myself, <laughs> you are not, <laughs> you are not let's elderly. Just, let's just minus like <laughs> yeah, six yeah. of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I remember going home and I was like, Papa, but you remember like you didn't want me to dance? Like yeah, you know. And that is a conversation that he has with his friends now. Allow your, your son. It doesn't, dancing is not just for women. The stereotype was dancing is for women, mm-hmm. right? You know, he never thought like ballroom was like such a masculine thing for a guy to do. You know what I mean? He thought it was like only for women. Mm-hmm. You know? right. And like it was. Is that the era he grew up in with his age or is yeah. that general in South Africa as a culture? I would say is the era that he grew up. Like he just grew up like dad saying soccer. That's a, that's a man thing. Only soccer. Like, you know, like the stereotype thing, woman has to be in the kitchen and cook mm-hmm. and the man works. Like, you know, like, you know, the, those stereotype things that like it brainwashes kids or the, you know what I mean? Like, Mama has to cook all the time, wash the dishes and wash this. No. Papa has to do the same thing. You know, like it's, 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 and I've always been a believer that men and women are equal mm-hmm. because I've, I've, <coughs> I was raised with my mom, two sisters, my dance partner had two sisters and her mom. So I've only had two father figures in my life. Mm-hmm. I lived with my parents for a couple of years and then I moved to my dance partner's house to live with them. Because dancing was e- closer to to their house, school was closer, so I lived with them. So I was literally the brother to five sisters, you know. Wow. And her mom, 
and my mom and two dads. You know what I mean? It's like, and growing, <clears throat> it's so interesting how the dynamic of different sisters and how they do things and stuff like that. And like, listen, I'm all about woman power, man. I'm all about woman power. I'm all about encouraging. I don't like the stereotype things. Like, I'm I'm a cook. I love to cook. I love to <coughs> sprinkle in the house. I love painting in the house. When some I like to fix. I'm handy. I'm I like to fix things in the house. Like that's who I am. So as if my wife can cook, I also want to cook. You know, and probably it's gonna be me cooking most wife out there <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean we'll, we'll post your social media <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. contact information right after this <laughs> please can yeah. you tell Meals us a little bit about Keo. yeah yeah that's our next podcast <laughs> next podcast yeah <laughs> um but you know it's it's you want to build a future together with someone yeah you know what i mean like it's it's what it's one of those things like culturally Growing up with so many sisters and their beliefs and what they want in their life and like, it's one of those things that I've I've looked and I was like I remember looking at like my sisters and my partner's sisters. I'm going like, oh my god, I have five strong women around around me that are so powerful and like, they they stand their ground and they do their thing and they, like, and I, it taught me so much. It taught me so much about women in general. Um, friendships, relationships, and it taught me so much, and I'm so grateful at this day, the way I treat women, right? You know, because ballroom dancing, ballroom dancing, it's you and a woman, right? Mm -hmm. And the woman is a picture. I always say this: the woman is a picture, and you the and frame. You the frame. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you the frame. So now I have, I grew up doing this my entire life. Plus, then I had amazing sisters around me. You know, it's like I know how to feed a baby. Like, it, because why I went with my sister when she was pregnant to a class, classes to do that, those things. And when my sister gave birth, funny enough, when my sister gave birth, I was the first person to hold the child. And literally, I remember when, I, when the doctor gave me the baby, and I remember holding the baby, and I was like, and the f energy, the energy that I felt, and the love that I had for this, this kid, not like nothing will match that like it's like my own son like mm. it's so weird i know it's my sister's son but like you know it's like my so own so how many kids do you want to have <laughs> <laughs> two two kids two yeah, yeah. All, right. all right either two down. girls two boys or boy and a girl like it doesn't really? so any of the three options are possible <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds it, <laughs> 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 it, it, i mean obviously your upbringing was super interesting but you also just because of that upbringing and the stereotypes, like you just don't see any. Oh no! Like yeah, nah, yeah. nah. I, I I don't judge. Like I, I don't judge. And the judging part of it comes obviously like how I was raised, but also the big part of not judging people is um, ballroom dancing. Mm. Because I've traveled so much that I've been to China, I've been to Hong Kong, I've been to Korea, I've been to Germany, Italy. This is like I've been to these places and I've met people from those places right. and I've interacted with those people and I've learned things, how they communicate, how they do things, how they, you can say one word. I bet you I can have a Russian, an Indian person, a uh, American person, Australian, African, oh, African. Uh, <laughs> you can point to yourself. You can point yourself. I was like African, but I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right, me too. <laughs> you know, so, so many cultures, right? And you can say one word, put it in the middle. How this word is going to be, what it means to everyone. Right. You how it's interpreted. How, yeah, yeah. How, how can you, how, who are you to put yourself in a situation where you judge someone? Because this word makes, it means something to this person. This, it means something. You know, so w the only thing you can do is learn and understand. You know, so I think dancing, traveling around the world, I'm away from judging people. The only time I can judge is when I'm on a dance floor and having a right. band well, and judging. Right. I think that dancing. starts probably, well, I might, might be wrong, Good, correct me, but you had something you really wanted to do. Yes. And you knew right away from a young age what it feels like to have somebody go, yeah, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. And so. But I you also know, had someone say, you go do it. Like yes. you can do so it. So you, yeah. you had both, both extremes, both I actions, guess, or yes. choices in front of you. And you know yeah. how it feels to, to not only have that and be told no, but what it feels like to say, go for it. 
Yeah. And and I I've always and I've always say this all the time. I always say I choose positivity rather than negativity. If Neg- and, and <coughs> let me um th- this is totally hypothetical, but if you didn't have the positive voice, if dad had said no, not interested, mom was quiet or silent or not present, would that have been enough to to distract you or I don't I don't know. Or you'd love dance I, enough I, that you would have mm, gone after it anyway. I don't know because I feel like I'm a strong believer that like what's meant for you is meant for you. Mm. What God has planned for you, however you're going to get there, you're going to get there regardless, right? So I'm a strong believer like even if hypothetically, if I, if I just went, oh, what if mom and dad said no dancing? Right. I don't know. Like I don't know how I would have turned. Like I don't know if, I don't, like I don't, I don't know. I think it's just you in that position no matter how hard it is, but with the grace of God, like with the grace of the universe, Kia, you're going to be a professional dancer. You're going to make it. You're going to be in on TV this year. And <coughs> and now I am here and I go, and I'm still going because yeah. I believe and I have faith and I'm, I know that this is just the beginning of so many great things that are about to happen in my life. You know what I mean? So do I think that I was going to be here? Yeah, because God wanted me to mm. wants me to be here. God wants me to be. Everything in my life happens for a reason, no matter good or bad. Everything. I'm strong. I'm a believer of that. Every single thing. I, I, not, I might not understand it at that moment, at that specific moment, but everything happens for a reason in your life. And I, and those are the things that makes me even stronger every, in situa- every time in a situation. Because I go, oh, wow, that sucks. But damn, man. And then you, and then you go. You learned from it. It was a, it was a lesson. Yeah, you're you being taught something. It. And I've, yeah. I've, I've done this so many times. Like when I go through situations, I take a pen and, and a pen. I take a pen and a paper, two columns, negative, positive. You write those things down. If this list is longer, it's way longer than this one. <laughs> you just, I just take the paper and I go outside in my balcony. I light a lighter and I go, I'm letting go. Boom. Light up the paper. Flies done finished, and, and but if the pa- if if the positive side is longer than the negative, it goes you on go, your refrigerator. Then you fight. Then yeah. that's when yeah, you fight. Yeah. Like you go, okay, no, I'm gonna fight. Like you know, whatever the situation is, I'm gonna fight. You know, so I've always been th- the believer of everything happens for a reason. There's a reason why it happens. Some of the things you can you can put your finger on it, but then time goes, you go, oh, I see why. No, I get it. Right, and you had said this a little bit earlier. I'd love to go back if if you can elaborate on it. When you talk about, I wanted to be a dancer, mm-hmm. and people, I want to make movies. I want to be casting director. I want to do music. I want to be an architect. What separates somebody who wants to do it f- and someone who has made it successfully? Um, and I'm not looking for all the answers, just a few. When you talked about discipline, like st- like maybe when you matriculated in that that right world now. game situation, yeah. Because oh, that time was okay, that like the see. first like kind of real. No, there was major a, competition. Uh, there, I mean, there was more before that. Okay, but there was that one. It kind of it kind of sparked in my life because it happened during my exams, exams, yeah, yeah, big exams in my life. So I had to like, it's either go, not exams, or not competition. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, South Africa is looking at me because I'm about to go represent South Africa in ballroom dancing in the World Games. Like, it's a huge mm. honor to be on the World Games, you know, and. <coughs> I don't ha- then I'm like, I'm not going to write my exams and I'm going to wait another year again to go write. Like, like I'm not, this is not. Nah, so know? before that, you were already competing in oh, competitions? Compet- I, I was doing like oh, international competitions. Oh, you were? Okay. Oh, yeah, I was already like traveling already. Um, but during that time, I w- I s- this is what I sacrificed. Friendships. I sacrificed um, family vacations. I've sacrificed uh, me time, if I had to say. Uh, me time, I know me time right now because me time <laughs> is, you know. Uh, I sacrificed those things because I had to make it for myself. Mm. I had to make it for myself and show my dad that I'm going to do it. And I'm So that was always in the back of your mind? Oh, 100%. Okay. Oh, 100%. That was like my driving force at the yeah. time, man. It was just like I'm ah, like, we got there. Right. <laughs> uh, we can stall. You can drink tea all yeah. you want, but uh, 
I want the real reason. Or no, but what do you mean? That, <laughs> that, yes, that's a. Re- I mean, it's, it's 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 not. Yes, it's a reason that I'm like I want to make also my mom proud. Right. You know, I want to make my mom. And you proud also love dance. And I love yeah. dancing. Yes. Like oh my god! Like I remember playing soccer and I used to like make some moves and like like. And the, your dad the was like, "Yes, the ball will pass," and I'll be like, "Oh." Yeah, I need to run after that. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but it was not a thing for me. But, like, my dad voice was always... Always now, resi- resonating. Now, no, because we've already spoke about this. Right. You know? But my dad's voice was, like, that... <sighs> I'm like, you don't know what I'm about to do. So I have a question about... So you're doing international competitions at a teenage age, mm-hmm. I guess. World Games. You're super disciplined. Yeah. You love it. Yeah. You're you're killing it. Mm-hmm. What's it like having a partner that's not as disciplined as you? Shoot. Like if someone doesn't have the drive that you have, mm-hmm. are you there to like pick them up? Are you because you have a super positive vibe? I mean, you're definitely No, you ask questions. Yeah. I'm a believer in sit down with a person and yeah. ask questions. I want to ask you a question. Like, what does this mean for you? Mm. Is this does this mean just Dance, 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 and then boom, finito, boom. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Mm. I'm looking for me to ride or die with you through this journey and sacrifice a lot of things. If you want to be in this journey and just go party and drink and have fun and good time, and when I'm like focused and like, I don't want to waste your time and don't want to waste my time. Maybe you should find someone who is in the same circle that you want, not me. Because me, I want something different. But luckily, I had someone who... OT Mabuse, amazing, <coughs> who she is actually now doing Dancing with the Stars in London. Oh, wow. amazing. And she won Dancing with the Stars in London wow. back to back. Wow. You know, I've been talking to her so, like, so much lately and like <coughs> last year, whatever. And we've always just inspired each other, pushed each other, things that we want to do, like how to do it, how, to, you know, because there's so many things, again, culturally, like you have to kind of like, und- I remember my first time on Dancing with the Stars. They're like, oh, you have to take your shirt off for your first introduction dance. And I was like, on TV? Like, <laughs> oh, I was like With what? other people watching? I was like, well, excuse me, what? <laughs> take my shirt off on, on national TV? Yeah. They said yes. And I was like, I remember that I had so many things, like it, even makeup, like t- on the show. They're like, okay, they need you for makeup. And I was like, makeup who? <laughs> they're like, you. And I was like, oh, no, no, I don't do makeup. They're like, uh, you have to put makeup for TV. And I was like, yeah. Tell them no, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> and then uh, the producer had to come to me in my trailer, like here, uh, you know, with the show, you have to put makeup on and all of this. And I was like, Mama, they wanna put makeup <laughs> on my face, <laughs> like things that you put on your face. She's like, Papa, it's okay, it's TV, it's you, it's okay, go for it, do it. And I'm like, and I remember like the lady putting my makeup on, I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> less, less, less. She's like, and then from there, after like, you know, a couple of shows, I was like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, makeup. Please yeah. make up. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, so um, the shirt, I had to call my, call my dad. I was like, Papa, like. I'm about to dance. I'm about They're to They're putting makeup on, on me. The show. Yeah. And I'm wearing glitter. And they want, like, shirtless. Like, I don't have to put a shirt on. My dad was like, it's work. It's okay. Like, it's fine. You know, like, for us, like, it, this is private. Like, you know. Right. right. It's private. You, you know. So I, I was like, I asked my dad. I was like, she's like, yeah, it's okay. And then I remember, what, I remember the, the next time I called my mom, I was like, Mama, did you see the show? She was like, yeah. She's like, and Papa was like, that's my son. <laughs> so funny. It's like, yeah, look at my son. <laughs> Can, <shut up. laughs> do you know roughly about when you saw a shift in your dad when he went from, I'm, I don't want to hear about it, to, yeah, that's that's kind of cool. I, I, I'll i tell my the friends. New, the newspaper. newspaper. That, that literally was the day you noticed oh, yeah. a shift. Oh, yeah. I, if, even how he was interested in, like, when you're in a competition, like, you know, and he came to, Two competitions this year? Yeah, two competitions to watch me. Right. Since on. you didn't play soccer and you and you were in regular school mm-hmm. and you were dancing, mm-hmm. what was that like with like your friends? Like were your buddies like supportive of that? Or the, were you like bullied because of it? No, because I didn't ever hang I never I was not the kid. I never had like my friends was my dance partner. Got it. Right. And my sisters, like Yeah. Or like I only had like one guy friend, like mm-hmm. you know my homie. But I used I five years old, like that time I used to play soccer on the street with my with the guys on the street, yeah. like play soccer and blah blah blah, break someone else's window. Like you know, I've done right, all right, that, right. like you know what I mean. But like the when dancing became serious, serious for yeah. me, like probably like eight years old, nine, 
that's when I didn't have time. I'm not sitting here like I'm like an angel. I mean, no, I, I've had moments where I was like, this is rough. Right. Like, is this worth it? Is this, is this my parents' money, my mom working two jobs? Is, is this worth it? Is, is this worth it? But there's always that been that voice, man. Like, there's always been that voice. Like, I'm meant to do this. Like, I'm meant to do this. This is, this is my, you know when people say the calling? I was like, this is my calling. I was like, yes, this is my calling for sure. I was, <coughs> it's just there's something about when I'm on stage or when I hear music or when I start dancing. It's just like, that's my healing. Like, yeah. if I go through something, I go in the dance studio and dance. I, and somehow, with the grace of God, I know. It's just like there's a song that will play or will resonate with the situation and I will dance. That's when, like, magic comes. Mm -hmm. like, And I will always for, forever be grateful for dancing. Like, even if my journey takes me in a different route and go different ways, acting and this, but dancing will always be my heart and soul. And with that, um, what, I if you're comfortable sharing, what's a, a fear because uh, I know every performer, including sel my, ourselves, mm -hmm. we struggle with some sort of fear that comes up, even in the thing we pursue that we love and want to do. Um, maybe what was one of those, and what did it take to either work through it or get over it? <sighs> I feel like my fear is not being enough. You know, like, not being enough, like, is what I'm doing enough? Hmm. Like, am I working hard enough? Am I... Am I going to gym enough? Like, am I taking care of my body enough? Is like, this in all aspects of life or just professional career? Like, do you feel that as far as, like, relationships with your family? I feel like that, that question, like, for, like not being enough, like, it was with family, like, during COVID. Because of, like, I, like, work, I'm like, go, 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 go. Right. Like, I don't even call my, my, my mom and dad, like, <clears throat> after two weeks. And I'm like... <gasps> Whoa! I need to call my parents. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so like yeah, I get yeah. my their yeah, WhatsApp. I'm like, oh, two weeks ago. <laughs> like they're like, how are you doing, Papa? Like and I'm like, when you're working oh. 19 hour days, right. you know what I mean? Like yeah. you know, like on Dancing with Stars, you on you go to you have rehearsal with Mandy for the opening number that takes four hours. Then you meet your partner or you go for consultation with the producers for your idea, your dance. That another hour. Then you go, you pick maybe f even sometimes not time for food. You just have to order Postmates, whatever. Then you have to meet the wardrobe. Then go, f like, go... Uh, f Get your fittings. Fittings, whatever. Yep. And then from there, go meet your partner. That's another five hours. And then by the time you finish, it's almost 10 o'clock in the evening. You get home, pick up food if it's still open. And then from there, get home and just crush. And then, again, repeat. You're up the next repeat. morning. Yeah. You know what I mean? So six, like six days a week? Five days no day offs. No day offs. Seven days. During, during the season, no yeah, days during off. During the season, no day days off. off. Yeah. No. Yeah. So, so you're working a month straight. Yeah. Probably 15, 16 hours a day. Oh, yeah. Easy. And it's, but it's, it doesn't feel like that because it's just, you love what you do. Right. It doesn't feel so many hours. You just get home, you're like, oh, wow, I'm tired. Like my friends know, like friends who are outside dancing. I only have few. A handful. Right? Yeah. But like the one who doesn't dance, he knows. I always tell him, like, bro, uh, the show's about to start. I'll, I'll see, see you in three months. months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows this. He's like, see you in four months? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I got you. And you know what I mean? So like, but like, he'll always be like, kind of like, he's so cool. Like, he'll always be on standby. Like, he'll, he'll, he'll be like, I'll text him like, yo, I'm finished early today. You want to grab dinner? Oh. And he'll be like, oh, bro, awesome. Let's go. And I'll be like, cool. Just yeah. different energy, different vibe. You know what I mean? So like, um, going back to your question, like, you know, it, in, in my career, it's like, Am I doing enough? Am I, am I, is what I'm doing more? You know what I mean? Can I be doing this and this and this and this? You know, but again, I, there's a reason of everything. And whatever I'm thrown into, whatever I'm, I'm going to do and what I'm about to do is because I'm meant to do that. And I'm giving 1000% of everything that I touch, that I do, I give 1000%. There's no, Mm. Half assing. Even yeah. if it's gonna fail, mm. yeah. even if it's gonna fail, I don't half ass. Like right. I don't, I don't half ass. There's no, I don't believe in that because I'm like, you because you never know. You're gonna do this. It's not gonna work out. But someone else is gonna see you do this and be like, hey, this project would be dope for you. Come here. You know what I mean? Like, listen, you are where you are because you're supposed to be there. I'm a huge believer of that. How did we do? So, 
17, 18 years old, World ju- World Games. World Games, yeah. Did that really put you like on the map when you like kind of did that? Because I know you've been doing international competitions, you said, but the World Games are the World Games. Yeah. So. Oh, no. When I did that, I was like, oh, yeah. We made it. You've mama, kind of arrived. Mama, mama we, ha- we have arrived. Yeah. But like then it just made, it just, everything that happens, it just puts something in me, man. Like it's just puts a little juice. So I'm like, let's go. Attack. I guess the question really is, so after the World Games happens, what's, What's the next step for ballroom dancers? Like, how does it, like, what's the trajectory of your career? I mean, you still you just keep competing. You still competed, represent South, Af- South Africa. My, me and my dance partner OT, we, we had to defend our title every year. Okay, like, that was our thing. Like, we're like, let's do it. Let's do it again. We got this. Let's do it. You know, and we know like rehearsals and getting ready for that. Like. And we do it with, like, such an awesome energy, awesome vibe. Like, we just, like, I love that girl so much with my entire life. Like, we just, we just knew it. Like, we just, like, again, let's do it. All right, we got this. So the way competitions are set up, is this a way to support yourself? Like, is it financially? Like, can you live off of competitions? Like, how does that... For dancing, no, you pay to go. So to you the pay to go. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's like running marathons. <laughs> okay. so you yeah. pay money. You pay them. Oh, okay. Sweat. Yes. Okay. You know, so obviously my parents will pay and stuff like that. But like, I did, co- I did like you know small gigs then there. Luckily, I was tall enough that I yeah. can just walk in a casino. People would be like, "Yeah, go." You know what I mean? Like without even checking my ID. Like I'll do sh- small shows then there. Yeah, I have that problem you know. too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, so they were like, they always ask me, like, "Are you lost, little boy? Are you, are you looking <laughs> for your parents?" Yeah, I mean, it's only a few times when I get asked about uh, with my ID, you know, especially when I shave. Actually, they're like, "Yeah, can I see your ID? When did you hit full height? Were you pretty young when you hit physique level dance? I'm, um, you know, look like you should be on a professional NFL team. Wow, when, I, when did I... I'm still waiting for mine to come in, so <laughs> I was just hoping maybe you could give me some insight. I honestly don't know. I was just tall. Like and, just the, and there's no one in my house who's tall. No one. My dad, mom, sisters, no one. No one. It's just me. It's just me who just went... And I was like... Hmm. What's it like to be God's favorite? <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm the chosen one. <laughs> Let's go. I think I think we should just drop this episode and not post it personally. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know when I reached that. Like, you know, I just remember coming to America, and funny enough, it's just like seeing that question. Like, how did you get here? I remember someone asking me that question, hmm. and go, and I had two options, right? Funny story. So, um, she goes, "How did you get here?" And I'm like. Uh, I took a plane. Yeah. <laughs> the monkey grip. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I climbed a monkey and I just fucking took off. I don't know. And then, you know, but at that moment I had a choice. I had a choice of educate or I'm just going to hit you with a lot of things and you're just going to be funny, you know? And I was like, mm, she doesn't know. Let me educate, you know? And I was like, from Johannesburg, South Africa. Because then I, I, then I go, I'm like, Wow, man, like, it's so interesting why this question always comes, like, how... And then I get to t- watch TV, and I go, what they show about Africa? And I'm like, uh-uh. You gotta change that. <laughs> like, you know, like... Yeah. And people go to South Africa, and they go, wow. Yeah. I've never been... Like, I want to go back. And I'm like, it's so weird. Because I don't get... I don't get, like, Africa. I always get, are you French? Or are you English? Are you from Germany or are you from, you know, I don't get mm-hmm. anything. Afri- I always get, when I talk to someone after maybe like two glasses of wine, my accent comes out and they're like, um, Johannesburg? I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. like, you know, but like every time, even when someone meets me like, oh my God, like where, y- where are you from in Europe? And I'm like, uh, Johannesburg, South Africa. Yeah. I don't know if that's Europe, but yeah. and Africa. Close to you Europe. Know. <laughs> close, <laughs> close, close, you know what I mean? It's so a little bit south. I knew I we should have g- put wine in these cups. <laughs> <laughs> like no, by <laughs> the way, guys, this is tea. I, I have some in the next room. I will go get you some. We'll hit pause. Let's, let's get that accent out. All right, all right, deal. Yeah, so... Um, when, um, how old were you the first time you hit stateside? <sighs> Which I th- I'm assuming dance brought you... Got yes. Opened all those doors, at least, or made it easier. So... 
I did a show called Burn the Flow. Burn the Flow. Burn the Flow, yeah. Burn the Flow is a, it's a ballroom and Latin show. It's literally ballroom dancing on steroids. Okay. If I can just put it in it so you can understand. Like, yeah. that show was hard. Never done anything harder. Like, that show was Physically, hard. that was the most Physically, yeah. Physically, oh my God. Like, sometimes I do double shows. In, I remember in Japan, you do show, two-hour show, and... Plus the pressure of our, proj- of our choreographer, Jason, he always said to me, he goes, people will know how the show's going to go because of you. And I was like, what do you mean me? He goes, when the curtains open, they see you and your partner first. Because we had this thing that uh, we opened the show with lights and stuff like that. And then it, go, 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 go. it goes in the audience, like dances in the audience. And he's like, people will, will know how amazing the show's going to be because of you. Because you're first. Because I'm first on stage. Right, yeah. And I was like, Put pressure on me. Thanks yeah. a lot. <laughs> like, thanks a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you know what, though? Because of the nerves, I always just wanted to be in the moment mm. all the time. And like me and my partner at the time on the show, Julia, we always like say, we have always say this prayer, like we got this, let's do this. God has us. It's just me and you. Yeah. And that always will get us the ov- ovation. It was like 30 seconds, like 30 seconds. Will always get us the new ovation. It was just a slow song. The way I held her and the way I just we just moved. It's just like oh I could do that dance like like Tony. This again. Tony, <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I can't even leave. I have to run the board. Can you, can you <laughs> Angelo? I can't even move the way he just moved at the table. Like you I would. I break all this. <laughs> uh, hey, we'll, you know I mean? so <laughs> we'll like, cut it out. You know, it was like that pressure, and but like physically, the show was just hard. And I remember. Did the show for so many years, and then I, the show was so big that it went on to cruise ships, right? So it doesn't go on cruise ships as like they get the dances; it is like they get the show mm. to come on cruise, right? So I did the cruise line, a cruise Norwegian cruise line, uh, the one in New York, and I'm scared of boats and like really like waves and stuff. Uh, uh, uh. So I, I worked on a cruise boat uh, right out of high school. Oh, yeah? It was a deckhand and Ooh. a cook. Yeah, no. No? No? no. Planes are okay? Yeah, planes are... <laughs> 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 so no planes, anything that I can no control. boats, anything no that scary I, monsters. Anything that I can control, I, th- it's like snakes. If I can't talk to you, don't come to me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no. Like, no. If I can't... Like, for me, <laughs> even when I'm flying, I'm like... Have you met our pet snake? Please don't. No. <laughs> I was going to choreograph a piece I'm with out. a snake. No. Are you down um, no. to do something different? No. 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 I'm, I'm yet to, to, to face my fears. Like, right. to, you know. But so then I did a cruise. After the cruise, I did another one in Miami. That was fun. Because we were on the cruise only for three days. But then you're in Bahamas. Miami for four days. <laughs> no, Miami for two oh, days Bahamas. In, the Maha- in Bahamas. And we, we had a good time. It was fun. Like, that was fun. the show was not as hectic was awesome. Was we had a good time. Then that's when Dancing in the Stars. I remember I reached out on Facebook. I think <coughs> producer and then, you know they spoke and I was like, "Is this a scam?" <laughs> and I was right. like, you know. And then I spoke to the, the uh, Burn the Flow manager, blah blah blah. And they the saw thing. you from Burn the Flow, or they or you submitted with all of the material you have been developing and pr- and basically performing. I. I knew about Dancing with the Stars and Strictly Come Dancing in London. I never submitted anything to... They found you. They found you. Yeah. yeah. So so str- because you were busy doing the thing you already the, loved, yeah. and it gave you the opportunity yeah. to go. So then I had Strictly Come Dancing in London reach out to me saying they want me to be the first Ameri- like African guy on the show. You know, the first black guy on the show. <clears throat> and And I was like, oh my God, this is huge. Like, this is huge for yeah. that show. Like, it's such a big deal, you know? And then, literally a week later, I get the I get from Dancing with the Stars, you know, and I was like, then I was like, okay, things I want to do in my life in terms of my career, where should I go? And then some of the dancers were really like chose strictly come dancing, and I was like, and I've always been the kid like if friends go this way, I'm gonna go this way. Mm. I've always chosen my side. I've always a done different path. Thing. Yeah, I always d- and yeah. like I always like go this way. It's like let's do this. I'm like. No, bro, when you're done, meet me here. And they kind of like, oh, this is better. I'm like, yeah, I, I know. So what was the choice that was in front of you? There was Dancing with the Stars, and was there another thing? Strictly Come Dancing. Oh, Strictly okay. Come Dancing. So Dancing with the Stars in London. Got it. So oh, it's called Strictly it. Come Dancing in London. So there was two options, and I go, 
I need a challenge. Challenge meaning like I want to work. Like I don't want to be because I was like, if I go here, my friends are there. It's gonna be easy. Like more, it's comfortable. It's com yes, yeah, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to be comfortable. I want to be like on urge. Like <gasps> I want to do that. Like let me go to LA. Let me go figure it out. Let me do this. I don't have my friends there. Like let me do it. You know. And so I the remember. bigger reward had more risk attached to it. Yeah. And then I chose LA and I was like, Dancing Stars, let's do it. And I just came here and it was like my first season, season 19. And it was a huge thing in America, like having, yeah. you know. Did you, did, you, uh, did you take a picture of a newspaper with you on the front and send it to your dad? No, I was on a billboard. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm joking. I was we on the billboard. We upgraded from the newspaper. He's like, Dad, this is called Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> it's where everybody face. from this is, Malibu. This is the Grove. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's my picture. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a big deal. It was like, you know, I don't take, and I don't take things like that for, for granted. Like, even today, like, even right now, like, if something comes up on like on media like with my like you know whatever like oh he's doing this i still get butterflies i'm like yeah. this is so awesome like I, well I'm because you put in the work and you know yeah, what it took to get like, here yeah and yeah. I'm like i'm like i'm forever grateful for every single even this it's, oppo it's an opportunity like i don't see myself like oh this is a big deal no i i'm so grateful for every opportunity and every people i get to talk to people i get to sit down and have a conversation like this with because you you I'm meant to be doing this. Yeah. yeah. And how why are you taking it for granted? Like embrace every situation and l like that's my that's my that's me being positive. It's embrace every single opportunity and and things that you go through in your life. Embrace them because they make they make a better you and they put things in your life that you will always be cherished. I'm going to remember this moment. So you know, and I'm going to remember this and be like, "Oh my god, that was so cool. Like I had a good time." Like you can't put money into Moments like this in life, you can't. You yeah, know what I mean. No, so, I, I, I value and I, I'm grateful and very thankful for everything that Wh I do. Can I back? You said one thing in there. I'd love to just get your per, like how you deal with nerves because mm -hmm. I've done, I've done some dancing, um, not at the level that you're at, and hip hop, not ballroom. I know you're looking at me like, yeah, right. <laughs> no, they let the Oompa well. Loompa dance. That's <laughs> I so know, I weird. Know. I totally saw it. <laughs> and um, or or performance or other things that are in front of people and the nerves s never seem to go away. How do how have you learned over time to either not let them hinder you or manage them or work through them, or do you just ignore them? Give me, I give me, give I me. A I, like I said, I embrace those nerves because meaning meaning like if I if I don't have nerves, there's something wrong. Yeah, thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> like there's something wrong, and I'm like. Like, I had one, I remember one dance on the show, and I remember it was an opening number. It was fun. It was, it was so much fun. And I didn't get nerved at the show, that show. And I remember when I was like, what's wrong with me? Like, yeah. I was like, bro, say something to me that will upset me. <laughs> like, just to get the nerves. And I didn't get nerves. It was just like a calm show. Like, I was like, and I finished the show, and I was like. Was this early, like, first season recently? Uh, this was like kind of middle, okay, middle of like me being on the show. Because like maybe you middle. just knew like you know you're getting comfortable with the show, you know <coughs> about the lights and the, you know where uh, everything is. Let me tell you something. Never you comfortable. Can get comfortable with that show, and then they change it. <laughs> not just change it. <laughs> Listen, there's nothing. There's nothing like Dancing in the Stars. Uh, it just it, as like as a, as a show to work on, it just has so many people around it, and. The, the, the packages and how they put everything. Because don't, don't forget, when you do dress rehearsal, they don't show you a package, right? So sometimes when you, you like <coughs> the good nerves and you're like not stressing, and then before you dance, they show the package, and maybe they picked up something that you, not, you like, you said something to your partner that up upset her or whatever it is, and they show that they just, this show, they know how to cut the packages, man. Like that video, they, they, Applause to you guys. Like, they know how to get your emotions. They know how to get to you and just, like, pump you up and also make you, like, <gasps> because now the thing that runs into you, like, okay, 20 million people just saw that. Right. Uh, the media just going to pick up that. You have to deal with this the whole week. Publicist, what? <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? It's, like, so many, so many things. And I'm, like, I applaud them for how to, like, even when I'm, like, I dance, I'm doing emotional dance. I always tell my partners this. I'm, like, if we're doing an emotional dance, like, get to that. I set up at the studio, like, like an I'm, like, okay, can I get, the, like, an evening rehearsal? 
I'm gonna dim the lights and I'm gonna play the song. We're gonna close our eyes and like feel the song and let's dance, you know. But then she'll get to that moment. But like I'm like, you're gonna reach that peak of emotions mm-hmm. at the show. And I said you can't get to it. Like I said, me, even me, I can't get to that moment when you see your package, the music behind it, the energy with the audience inside. Like it's something else. Yeah. Like it's some. It's 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 an experience that like it's fun for celebrities to experience. It's such an it's hard work, but it's such a dope experience. When they put when they cut together those packages, the ones were like, oh, they rolled they rolled their ankle, and then they, you know. Mm-hmm. Show them like barely being able to dance the whole week, and then you guys do the show. But that's a like, build up. That's what I'm saying. They're like, you yeah, know? they're setting yeah. up so dramatic. Yeah, because you may, at home you watch it, you go, oh my god, is she gonna dance? Is she gonna dance? Is she gonna dance? And yeah. she dance, you're like, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> yeah vote, vote. Yeah, smart. Yeah. What about yourself fighting through like injuries and stuff in the last several seasons? Yeah, not one that you don't have anymore. Um, you know, it, go, it goes back to that nutrition part of you know. Do you are you gonna go to gym in the morning before you go to rehearsals? No, um, but are you gonna eat right? Are you gonna stretch? Are you gonna you know release your mu- like? M- I have during the season every week I have a massage. It's like my tradition. I have to have a massage every week. Sports massage, <coughs> cold punches. There's this place in uh, in, in um, West Hollywood it's called Voda Spa, and that's where we go and like we jump in the cold plunge and like you know sauna cold plunge like that's you know that's you taking care of your body Athlete, so you athletes do that. i mean you're yes, just, your you're body is yeah. your yeah. instrument yeah so it's again we that's what we do it's not like dance 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 interviews this and this and this and this you're always in your car blah 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 and then from there you go sleep no you have to yeah. go recovery is huge recovery yeah. recovery is huge yeah. yeah so that's what we do what's um <coughs> um we'll, we'll wrap it up here in, in a little bit but um what's maybe time. one I talking i know no we can keep talking <laughs> yeah, some more time <laughs> what's um it's only, it's going to be something only you would know, but what's something that's l- either difficult or you struggled with, or it, it's just the thing that no one thinks about when they consider the life of a dancer and what you do that seems very simple, but that's actually really hard or man, nobody ever uh, like considers this, but this is really, really hard. Is it dancing with a partner you don't like? Or someone who can't dance at the level you'd like them to. Do you mean it on the, like on the show? On the show. Anything <coughs> related to, to to dance. It might not even be about dance. It might be I have to get up every day at this time to make this work. Like, you know, like an insight that only you would know having gone through it. I feel like the the, the, the hardest challenge actually probably all this I mean, we all talk about this on we eat whatever. <coughs> as uh, as dancers especially like if you're in a show, for example, like this, it's dancing with someone who who wants to do it. You know? Mm-hmm. Sometimes people want to do it just because, oh, let's just do it. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. But like this, others, I've had partners who want to do it. Like Ivana Lynch from Harry Potter. Oh, my God. She, w- I remember walking in, like, <coughs> and I always get clues. I'll tell you about didn't, this story. Didn't you came in third. Yeah. With her, correct? Team third, yeah. Because she wanted fi- it. My first finale. Woo! First all right, all right. Finale, if I remember correctly. That was like yeah. towards the end of the run, right? You had done several yeah. several seasons there. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Good. Yeah, I want to hear this story. Go. So the Ivana story, I remember coming to, like every time in, like since I've been on the show, I always get clues who my partner is. The clues can come in a, in a form of music a form of I see them on TV a day before <coughs> or something happens and I'm like, that's weird. You know what I mean? Like I remember Shaka Khan, <coughs> Shaka Khan for example. I was uh, driving to CBS and I was in the car and I was like, oh, let me play music. And I pl- I hit the music ready. I'm like, I don't want to listen to my phone all the time. Let me play music. I'm every woman. Like her songs came on playing and I was like, I was like, oh, Shaka Khan, nice. I'm like, I love the song. The song finished, and I'm like, before it finished, I pressed another station, another song of hers, and I was like, wow, Shaka Khan. I roll up to CBS. I meet the producers. They tell me my partner Shaka Khan. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I was like, cool. well, Yeah, because I was already researching her yeah. music. On yeah. the you way know what I mean? Yeah. Like, And then from there, like another season with Jody Sweden. Yeah. Jody's from Fuller House. I was watching. I put TV on. I went to E! News. Weird. I, like, it's just, I just do. Go, and you know Tyler Henry? Yeah. The medium? Yeah. I don't know. 
yeah, Tyler Henry the medium, she was having a session with him on TV. So I was like, oh, Jody, like let me watch this. I watched this a day a day later on. I walk in the studio and then it's she's she's right there. And H, I a night before I met her, I saw her movie. Somehow I was like, oh my god, this movie! Like, I watched the movie and I rocked up and I was like, li- even my even my expression on the pack, like the, the the video that they played before we, when we met, I was like, uh, I. <laughs> so the universe just, has given like, you all these clues. Yeah, I was like, I just saw you. Yeah. She what, goes, the- what do you mean? I was like. Uh, last ni- like uh, I was like last night. I'm like no. I mean like on a movie that you did. What I was like. Wait, this is so weird. Ivana Harry Potter. I don't watch Harry Potter, but I know about it and I've seen w- movies. On a Saturday, and I was meeting her on Monday. <coughs> Somehow, I sat down on my couch and watched all the Harry Potters back to back. Wait, all of them? That's all a l- of them. That's a long day. No, I'm not joking. That's the whole nah, day. Maybe not all of them, but like <laughs> I First watched couple? maybe like. Maybe three or four, but like it was one of those days. Like, I started watching at like eleven thirty on a Saturday, and like I was just at the home till the whole day ordering food. I'm like, oh yeah, a burger, mm, sushi. You know what I mean? Like, I was just like, <laughs> and I was like, why am I watching this the entire day? My friends are like, let's go have dinner. I'm like, no, bro, I'm watching TV. Like, it's just so I fun. Find out what happens fun to day. Harry. Yeah. Then I woke up and then she opened the door and I just said, "Hey!" <laughs> <laughs> I remember this. Like, watch you for you, seven hours. Like, here, you can't do that. I was like. Hey, I just saw you. <laughs> and then she was like, what? I like, watched you for seven I hours. I just yes. saw you. And then, she, and then she was like, I'm like, what are you doing the show? When she told me this, I'll never forget. She goes, I want to learn how to dance properly. Hmm. But Ivana was in it, man. Like, she, I would send her videos of, like, professional dancers, like, competing, right? Like, you know, Yona Lewis and, like, Carmen with Brian Watson. And I show these couples and I send her the videos, like, this is how summer should look like. No joking. She comes the following day looking 10 times better than she did the other day. Right. Because she and worked on it all and day. And yeah. that, for me... She's invested. Oh, that, for yeah. me, again, it like... I was like, let's go, partner. Yeah. She was one of those partners, like, even when you have five hours of rehearsals, you'll do five hours, and then from there, you'll go, like, an extra 30 minutes. I'm like, you want to stay more long? Are there one or two dances that you just love that that's Kyo is known for? It's this. more of the it's not it's not more of the dances, it's more of the step. Like all the dance on the show, we have it they like you know, Va has a step though and like when we know when he choreographs something, we're like, Oh, it's gonna have that. Like uh, key or you know, the Cuban break, but like with the hip front, like that's like the key. Even the choreographer Mandy always like, Yeah, add the key step in there, you know, w- to transition to do that. You know, like it's like everyone has a step, oh we call it the Lindsay, oh we call it the Emma. Every dancer kind of have their own kind of step. That signature they, move signature that move they that you do. know that like, oh, that's the glab. That's glab special. We call it the glab special, the Kyo special. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we all have. So when you're, <coughs> when you're doing competitions for ballroom, do you have to be proficient in all the dances? Uh, ye- yes. I mean, you have to because I did. So you do samba, samba, cha-cha, rumba, pasu, jive. Okay. Waltz, tango. Fox Trot, Viennese Waltz, Quick Step. What's the one you absolutely are like? Um, I hate that one. <laughs> none. <laughs> none. Don't you love lie. them all? None, none. No, no, no. We should be honest. Because you know why? Because they all have different feel and different vibe to it. What's the one you're most attracted to? Rumba. That, see, that was way easier. Yeah, <laughs> because the rumba is the, <laughs> rumba the dance of love. Rumba the dance of love, and that's who I am. I'm all about love. I love love. You know, like when I see love, I'm like, oh, man, I love to see that, you know? I love love and hips, I believe, are the rumba, right? Is it hips or is that? Yeah, that's the samba. It's like, the, it's like samba is the hips one. Like okay, I watched a few of your dances and I was like, a couple, <laughs> cu- you no, know, it was great. Not in a creepy <laughs> way. Like, I mean, the way you said dude, it. Dude, I just saw you for seven <laughs> hours. It's so the weird. You were said, all on yeah, my TV. Way you said it, See, I now you know how it feels. By the way, <laughs> you're, you're his screensaver on his phone now. <laughs> that's hilarious. I may Whoa. or may not have a poster of you at home <laughs> on the wall. Uh, I see that. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing that. creepy. Yeah. No, not You're the all. poster and, and I taken. put the frame nope. around it. Okay. Yep. Um, just one quick last question, and then I, I know we're, we're keeping you here a little while. But um, right now, uh, things are starting to turn back on, and yeah. shows are opening up, and cameras are being filming. They're, they're filming stuff, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. what, um, what's, uh, what are you looking forward to maybe this year if, uh, if you have the opportunity to do what you want to do? What's, I'm, what's I'm 2021 
the later half of the year look like for, <laughs> for you? Well, it's going to go amazing. Um, I am looking to do everything for this year. When I say everything, I'm meaning... Can you be more specific? <laughs> I well, well you just said that the show is coming back, right? Yeah, 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 the fall? yeah. The yeah. Show, you know, the show. I want to see if Broadway opens. I want to see myself on Broadway. I want to do a little scenes on a on, on movie or TV show. Like, you know, I want to sing. Uh, not sing as in like have an album. Not that. I'm just saying sing on Broadway. That's my one of my biggest goals. And, you know, I want to do it all. I want to I want to do runway maybe do like a dope Dosh & Gabbana runway just for that brand, that New York Fashion Week, that mo- that time, done. Not like being a consistent, right? you know. You want to like check a lot of boxes, some goals. Yeah, yeah, yes, do it all. I'm st- I still can, and anyone can do everything. Why not? Why not? Why, not? Yeah. why, why that person? Why not me? I oh, want to no. do it all. No, absolutely. You know what is, there, is there a little secret thing that you haven't told anybody about that you want to do? I know you said everything, but is there like no, a secret thing? No, I did <laughs> You're not going to tell me, are you? No. Uh, <laughs> There's one thing I want to I do. What if I turn the cameras off and then we nope. t- Come on. <laughs> nope. Why you got to be like that? No, uh, you know, but like the thing is like, I've always been that, I've always have, um, I've always had like a list that I write. And I'm like, I'm going to do this, do this. And I always do it. Always everything that I say I'm gonna do, I check everything, right? But I feel like the incidents with my mom this year, you know, losing my mom this year, it mm. put my it put life in a very um, in a way that it put things in perspective mm. for me, right? That I'm gonna do everything that I touch mm. to the good, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm always going to inspire with love. And, mo- and with love and always inspire and motivate because, <coughs> you know, she, she taught me that everything that you do out of love will always go well. Anything. It's either relationship. It's either uh, friendships. It's either like you want to go on a, run- on a runway. You Everything coming from a good place, from love, will always work out. Whatever's not, not meant for you and not supposed to happen it will come out of your life, you know, and I'm okay with it because I know that, Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I don't question. I go, mm. like I told you, I write, I do my, pa- my, pa- my paper with the pen, and I write things, and I'm like, ah, okay. And sometimes hey. you light it on fire, light and on sometimes fire. you don't. I sometimes feel like that. Fire, sometimes I'm like, ooh, hello. <laughs> I feel like that's your own personal <clears throat> beyond the storm. Yes. It really is. So like true. At, it's like your own it personal is. at home. It is. You it just kind of. Made it yours. Yes, yeah. I'm, but I'm I'm that kind of per- I'm also the kind of guy though. Like I j- I'll be sitting down on my couch, and I have things come through, and I'm like, oh, I have these words coming through, and I'll take it. I'll take my notebook and I'll just write those words, and I'm like, write, 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 and then from there, I'm like, huh? And I ah, whatever. And then three days later, and I go, hey, yeah, you remember this? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. So I always do that. Like I always, whatever comes through, that I'm like, I want to write. I'll write it down. All the time. Well, so Kyo, man, you're super inspiring. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you. I mean, thank you. That's yeah. that's that's how I live. That's how I live my life, and I I I want l- to live more of that all the time because you know I look at this world and I'm like I'm gonna keep on being positive because I well, we choose. We could use a little bit more. Yeah, I choose positivity. It, 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 it takes a lot of it takes a lot of energy to be negative. I mean, you yeah, can, but like yeah. it also put, kind of puts you in a, in, a, in the perspective of like. When you know the thing that dri- like one of the things that drives me is like knowing that I'm gonna have kids and I'm gonna be a dad one day. You know what I mean? Like that drives me because I'm like, I'm I'm not gonna be a model when I have my daughters and more my my son. Like I right. wanna be a hands-on dad. Right. Like I wanna be <coughs> doing like lifting my kids, throwing them <laughs> up, spinning <laughs> them, and doing cha 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 with them at home. Like that's why I'm like I wanna do it all right now like i want when you s- when you see like oh my god like look at Keo. he says he's gonna do this he's look everything uh, but i just want to do it you heard it here first you know so right two yeah. two girls or two boys or a boy and a girl i believe or what he said he's okay so basically everything <laughs> yeah. i have three options yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh but whatever whatever god uh whatever god grants me with and and you know gives me um I'll mind of the man plans his ways but the lord directs his paths there we go. Or steps, I think, or something like that, right? 
It's been a little while since it I quoted made, Proverbs. It made sense. <laughs> yeah, okay. It made sense. That right. made, it, it sounded sense. spiritual, made, right? It made sense. And, uh, you know, again, if the universe wants me to have two boys, I'll have two boys. If they want me to have two girls, then I'll have two girls. All right. Yeah. But they're going to dance regardless. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce my kids to bomb dancing, for sure. Like, I'll just do it like, Papa used to do this. Let me, you know, you know, but like, yeah, it's like Papa used to do this. Like, he used to cha cha cha. He used to wear those heels. Like, you know. But when you think, when you say, like, I used to wear heels, you're thinking, like, stilettos. You know? Right, like right. Six inch. Like, that's what I'm saying. But, like, my dad, for example, like, when I said, oh, Papa, I'm going to wear these heels, he's like, what? Yeah. What? Excuse I'm me? sorry, what? Uh, <laughs> say it again. I'm <laughs> like, oh, no, we, ca- we call it a Cuban heel. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a. It's s- fine if it's got Cuban <laughs> in front of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, you make okay. them all manly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, well. <laughs> We'll wrap it up with that. Um, Let me do two quick announcements while you're here. Please give us a like or a thumbs up or a comment uh, if you're listening to us. Subscribe. Oh, yeah, that's an important word, too. too. I guess. Don't subscribe. Subscribe. It's not. Subscribe. Do it. Um, Anyway, (laughs) um, uh, Keo, thank you for coming here. Thank you for sharing everything uh, about journey, process, some mistakes, some failures, but also a lot of success. And it sounds like your attitude that you bring to life is going to be kind of unstoppable so strength, just remember strength and love strength and love and, yeah, be po- and be positive man like just every single day when even when things are hard just tell yourself you got this you got like it's so powerful like i come downstairs in my house like i just come i just go down in the kitchen and make coffee and i'm like yo i'm awesome yo alexa play music let's go like even when the darkest moments of my life, yeah. I do that. But like, it's just like, because why I choose positive rather than negativity? Right. Why am I going to sit down and be like, I have moments where I bowls. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? But I'm like, oh my God, like, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. You switched to Malibu. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. All right, we're going to sign out. off. Thank you everybody for tuning in and we will see you next week.